Did you thank you snow plows making some progress in our local mountains where many residents remain trapped in their homes. KTLA 5's Annie Rose Ramos live now from San Bernardino to show us what's going on there. Annie Rose, good morning to you. Chris, good morning. Well, day three of a state of emergency here in San Bernardino County, and you just heard Henry say it. With more storm means more snow for those mountain communities located farther up this road. Now, I am standing on Highway 18, and as you can see behind me, this road completely shut down. Folks on the other side of where I'm standing, waiting to get through, putting on their chains, hoping that CHP will come down here and announce that they will escort them up, but there is no guarantee, and right now, it is closed indefinitely. We are now, this morning, getting a better idea about what conditions people in the mountain communities farther up this road are facing after days and days of snow. They tell us that the conditions are becoming more dire and more desperate by the day, and they need help now. Take a listen. This is three fresh inches on top of, you know, six inches of pure ice. There's definitely a very, very clear feeling of abandonment happening on this mountain right now. What I'm definitely saying to our county officials is please help us. Take a look at this. These are some of the conditions we're seeing in those mountain towns. This is what folks are facing outside their front doors. Just brutal, brutal conditions after another wave of the storm brings another wave of snow. State highways remain closed due to dangerous driving conditions, and that's because just look at all this snow. It's feet and feet of it. Snow plows making progress on the highways, but this new storm dumps another few feet of even more snow. Here in Running Springs, stores have sold out of food and supplies. Their shelves now empty. In this video, you can see and hear that wind and the snow. Cars barely recognizable under all of it, making it impossible for people to get to their cars even out of their houses to get help. The county saying they are doing all they can, but with the conditions in the last 24 hours with this new wave of snow and ice and wind, things have really slowed down. Take a listen. Well, I don't think that any county in Southern California could have, I, there's no way that we could have anticipated the, the depth of snow that landed over the course of time to be able All right, Megan and Chris, this is important information for folks who are where I am standing. They are stranded. They cannot get up the mountain. And if they need resources like a shelter to call people in order to get more information about food and overnight stays, this is the information they need. There is a shelter that is open in Redlands because we know folks have been waiting to get up this mountain, some of them for days and simply haven't been able to. Now, a lot of folks were able to get up with a CHP escorts yesterday, but not everybody was here during that window of opportunity when they felt like the weather had let up for a few hours. So we know that people are still here. They're still behind where I'm standing, waiting, hoping to get up this mountain. I hope to, I spoke to one man a few minutes ago. He said he's trying to check on his elderly grandmother. Another man is trying to check on his wife. They are both buried under a few feet of snow and can't even get out their front doors. We are going to be hearing from officials later this morning. They're hopefully going to be speaking in an update at around 9 a.m. and we will bring that to you when it happens. Reporting live, I'll send it back to you both in the studio.